name is Anne, and this is Toby. And welcome to episode 36 of a Toby Knits podcast, where I talk to you all about my knitting, crochet, sewing, and crafty stuff that has happened in the past two weeks. Are you okay, Toby? Do you want to sit down? Do you want to get down? Toby never knows what he wants. He always wants to sit on my lap, which is a bit on the difficult side. Get your basket. In the difficult side when I'm trying to do this and show you stuff, because it's like a balancing act, trying to keep him on my lap without falling off, because he's just a wee thing. Um, so yes, you can find me on Ravelry as Brit Hockey Mum. Long story. I'm on Instagram as Toby Knits on Facebook as Toby Knits and I have an Etsy store Toby Knits. So today we are going to talk about amigurumi toys. <laughs> I think today it's basically all about the toys. Um, I'm kind of obsessed a bit with them right now and I am doing a special um, uh, I don't even know what, how you would describe it, but it's a, like a little, it's called the bears. And basically I'm knitting a bear and crocheting one to see how, which one makes up faster, which one looks better, which one feels better, which, you know, like, what do I prefer? Because a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately, and I think I just wobbled the table then. I did. I did it again. Did you see that? <laughs> um, has been crocheting. So I wanted to try a knitting one. I had done a knitted uh, rabbit or something months and months ago for my grandson before he was born, um, which was knitted. And I did enjoy that process, but then I'd gotten into all this crochet stuff and I thought, hmm, which actually looks better? I feel like crochet would go faster than knitting, but let's just see. So that's what the bears are all about. But, <clears throat> I had a little issue. Anybody got a tissue? No? Oh. Um, what happened was I ran out of yarn on one of the items that I was doing on the crochet. Polar bear ran out. So I decided to not continue with the knitted bear because I wanted them to see which one finished first, which one, you know, pipped to the post. And if well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it, really? It was almost like the knitted bear kind of like, I don't know, sabotaged the crochet bear because, you know, he kind of like yanked away all the yarn and then he bounds ahead to the finish line because, you know, there's the, the poor polar bear guy is just kind of sitting there waiting for the yarn to come and he can't kind of be put together and so the knitted bear would win. I couldn't have that. I couldn't have that. So I stopped. So then I thought, okay, this is taking forever to get this yarn, which I ordered, by the way, February the 8th, um, from Love's Craft, who are normally very, very good. But of course, the post is just horrendous right now. <laughs> um, don't really feel like it's ever got any better since COVID started. I mean, they've had a year to practice this whole shipping business. You'd think they'd figure it out, wouldn't you? But no. Anyway, so um, I decided I would stop making the bears so you, you end up casting something else on. So I started Eggman and then I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just do the clothes for the bears. So I did the clothes for the bears. And then I ran out of yarn for the knitted bear for his clothes. So I was like, I can't do that gonna have to wait and we can't have this one catching up with that one so I started something else <laughs> I guess I should actually show you everything I've been doing instead of sitting here talking about it all but we'll start with something super easy first of all the one thing that's not a toy <laughs> which are my monthly socks I'm doing so this is my February socks which are in my Netherwood bag. So this is a little bag that you can find in my store. There's a few different 
colors and patterns in there. Some of them have a matching stitch marker holder. But this particular sock, so here's how far I am. Now what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. No, I mean it. I, I really mean it. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Close your eyes. And when you open them, okay, you can open them. <laughs> I've already finished one <laughs> and obviously just started the other. But this is uh, the Color Palette Sock. I forget who it's by, but I'll put it in the bottom. And oh my gosh, how do you just not love these? How do you not love them? Are they not the best ever? So they are um, by, the yarn is by Lay Family Yarns. And um, it was five minis. Now I only actually used four minis uh, in it, just the way it went. But it's like so many rows of the stock in it and then you've got this twisted rib for a couple of rows and so on and so on and then obviously the regular I think it's called eye of partridge uh heel flap and uh turn and all that but oh, I love them I think they're so nice for February don't you I like them a lot anyways that's the only actual knitted thing other than toy I've been working on I do have some other whips, but they're just like sleeping. So that's the only one. I lied. It wasn't the only one. The other thing that I have done, I was waiting, was some of the girls in my knitting club um, from one of the villages that I used to go to before COVID, but we haven't really been getting together. But we still chit chat on our Facebook page and um, they are doing a dishcloth of the month. And I think it's something to do with the kitchen shop. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a, I think that's a website or a, a Facebook page. I don't, I'll put a link if I can find it. Um, and you can sign up to be notified of the pattern for each month. And I started the January one again. It's in cotton and it's in, um, what kind of cotton am I using? Oh, I don't know what I did with the label, but it is the Bernay Handicraft, which I think is a four. So it's a worsted weight cotton. And this is the pattern. So before I drop my needle, do you know what? It's really weird. For the last couple of years, I've just been working on circular needles um, or double pointed needles. I have not used a straight needle in forever. It's a bit weird getting used to it again. But here is the pattern. It's really cute. It's called Icicles. It's on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. And uh, that's as far as I've got so far on my January dishcloth. Obviously, the red that you just saw then was for my February one, which I think has hearts in it. And I don't know what the heck the uh, March one is. As usual, I'm always behind with these things because I see them and I like the look of them. And then I think, hmm, I think I might want to do that. And then I order yarn <laughs> and then I wait and I wait. <laughs> that yarn, handicraft yarn, I actually picked it up in a local store in Kempville. And uh, I totally forgot there was a yarn store in Kempville and a fabric store. And so I went in on Saturday, first time being in a store. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you this. I haven't been out for ages. My husband takes me out once a week and for drive and um, he keeps telling everybody at work he's taking the old lady out from the home. <laughs> I'm only three years older than him. Anyway, he took, takes me out for a drive and sometimes we take the dog just to the dog park, but just to get me out from inside the house, right? And four walls. Um, I mean, I walk the dog a lot, but we live in a village, so there's not really, I can't get very far. And, um, and I don't drive. That's another very long story. Um, so 
he took me out on uh, last weekend and we went to Ottawa and I haven't been in, to Ottawa for ages and he said let's just go in Costco mm. Mm. I had a panic attack in the bathroom like what like I said to him oh, I have to go to Lou and I, I ran into the bathroom and I, I was in the, I didn't take my gloves or nothing off. Do you know how hard it is to pee without taking your gloves off? But anyway, I didn't, winter gloves at that. Not even little, you know, fancy leather things like. Yeah, I know. That's not really a picture we all want to picture in our head. Let's rewind that part. So I went into the bathroom and um, yeah, I just felt sick to my stomach, I came over really hot, I was like flushed, I thought I was gonna pass out. And I came out of the bathroom and I said to my husband, oh, we have to go, I can't handle this, there's too many people in here. And he'd got most of the stuff in the, the cart that we'd needed, so literally we just beat, beat it out of there. We just, it was awful. But before that, I had gone into this lovely little store and, um, in Kempville and uh, I think I was the only person in the store. So I loved it. So I, that's where I got my handicraft yarn to at least start the um, dishcloths. So I think I'm waffling. So let me get on to how, where and what I'm up to with the bears. Because as you know, I had to stop them. But the yarn came today. I was so excited. I don't know who was more excited, Bob, because it's his 60th birthday, or me, because my yarn came on his 60th birthday, and he's gone to work tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. So I can finish the polar bear and put him together and finish the knitted bit. So let me show you where I am with them both. So polar bear. Head. Scarf. Look how long this scarf is. It's like enormous. I mean, I could put it around me. <laughs> scarf. Um, then we have some of the body, but of course, this is where I had ran out. Right there. So. I have to finish the body off. Isn't this body cute? Look at the little legs and everything. They're so cute. And then of course his bum, look at his bum, but he has a little tail. I think the tail should have been over a little bit more, but I kind of like that he has a wonky tail. So there's the bear. And then he has I think this is his neck band or something. I don't even know how that goes on. Ears. so cute I don't know what I think it is and then legs which are super I haven't stuffed them yet are super cool look the way they're shaped I mean they look like he has a knee there they're super cool anyway so of course I have two of them don't know where the other one is and then oh there's the other one partially stuffed And then his jacket. I can't wait to get it so on and dressed and everything. So what I have left on the jacket, and what happened with the jacket was I ran out of blue, the pale blue, this pale blue. And this stitch is called, hmm, I forgot. Um, I'll put the line down there. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but I ended up finding another blue, but it's not the shiny blue from the Catania yarn. It's the paint box yarn. And so it's does it's not as shiny, but you can't really tell. I mean, it's just for my polar bears. Nobody else is having it. Um, I have to get buttons on him too, but his little head basically will go in like that. And then his ears, where did they go? 
Toby, did you take the ears? No? Okay, good, my one. His ears will go like this, because there's holes for his ears. And then they'll go like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I can't absolutely wait to get this finished. So I shall be working on him tonight to get him sort of, you know. So all I have to do is finish off about this much of his body, and then I can start sewing him together. So there you go. That's how he's working out. And I still, still have shoes to make for him. And then I think that's it for him. Now, the candy bear, or I call him hiker, but the Patness Candy Bear by Mary Jane's Tea Room. And, oh, the bear is Ellie and Jin. The polar bear is Ellie and Jin by Johan, Joe Handmade Designs. Joe Handmade Designs, yeah. Um, so this is one of the new bags. I don't think it's one I'm gonna keep, but this is it. It is, um, I love it because it has the strap on it. It has two pockets in the front and uh, it's zippered and has another pocket inside. And so this is where, um, I do like this bag, but I just don't know if this is one I wanna put in the shop. Um, so for the Knitted Bear, um, which has been, do you know what? I thought the Knitted Bear would take longer to knit to work than the Crochet Bear, wrong. This one made up faster, even though um, I ran out because what I did was one night I'd work on the knitted bear the next night I'd work on the crochet bear and so on until obviously I couldn't because I ran out of the crochet yarn but um, I really have enjoyed making this bear um, I, I'm a bit worried about the head part I think this might take me a bit of a while because this is his head um, and you have to do the eyes and they sort of like sink in a bit and there's this hole here which you're supposed to do something and pull I think it's going to take me a while to figure this putting him together more than it will the other one but anyway and then he will fit on there somehow and then I have done his ears so here's his ears so they will kind of go like this, I think. I think, I'm not really sure. I have to read the instructions like 10 times because I, I read them, look at them and then think that's not right. And then I realize I've not really read them properly or I put, anyway, and then his arms, which I haven't stuffed yet because I figured I'll just make it all and then I'll get to it. This is the jacket I have made, and it has a little button on the back. And um, so there's the jacket, and I actually did, <laughs> watch, watch this. I did actually put the jacket on the, this, because of course this is the body and everything. So, look, <laughs> how cute. And then of course his little head's gonna be like this, right? How cute is that? I think that's so cute the little jacket and then I also made the cardigan now the jacket took me two nights two evenings to work on and this took me about three or four um, but I really love it and then, and then again it'll have little buttons and then if it was on the bear it's kind of gonna be like that <laughs> So super cool, I, I love it. And um, so yeah, but I think making this bear up might take longer and more concentration than the, um, and these are the little buttons that I bought at the little store on Saturday. So hopefully they'll be the right size. So yeah, that um, are, are the two bears that I'm working on and um, so hopefully next time I speak to you, which might be next week, 
I will be able to show you how, how they've come on made up. So now, while I was waiting for the yarn to come, instead of doing a whip, I thought, I might as well just start something new. So I did. So this is the new bag that's going in the store. And it is slightly smaller than this one. But it is bigger than this one. I think it's a little wider. You see that? And this one has a zip on the front with the lining inside to match this part. And then inside it has um, no pocket. So, cause some people don't like a pocket inside cause when they put their hand in to get their yarn or whatever, they stick their hand in the pocket by accident. And I kind of like having the pocket in the front here because literally all I have in the front of this is a pair of scissors and some stitch markers. So um, this and my husband and I have been arguing over what to call it because I don't know if you realize, but I, all my bags, um, I name them after my family. So this is the Netherwood, which was my surname before I got married. And then this one with the quilt bottom is, uh, and the drawstring top is the Bradshaw, which is my paternal grandmother's maiden name. And I wanted to make a bag called the Fletcher, which is my maternal grandmother's maiden name, which I did originally make, and it's, it was bigger than this even. Um, but I never really got further with that one because that's really more in my sweater bag. Um, anyway, so I was going to call this Fletch because Fletcher is short, and this is a shorter version of what the Fletcher bag will look like. But my husband thought I should name it after somebody on his side's family. So we were thinking Carson, which is his mother's maiden name. So should this be the Carson bag or should it be Fletch? Let me know below what you think. And that's what I'll call it if I get enough people comment. And I'll do a little uh, drawer as well for commenting on which bag it should be. Um, for a stitch marker, one of my new ones. So in this unnamed as of yet bag, I am making Eggman for Mateo, <clears throat> who is, I think he's seven now, I think. And um, he loves Sonic the Hedgehog, or the, the video game, and Eggman or Robotic Man or something is his favorite character. So I'm making that. So this is his body. <laughs> body. So here's his squishy, squishy body. And then um, his arms. I've done both the arms and his little legs. Look at those little legs. <laughs> so funny. I've done both his legs. And then he has this thing. I'll put a picture so you can see what he's supposed to look like. Because when you just see that, you don't even really know what that means. No, it's not a nose cover. Um, it, I think it goes on him there somehow. I don't know. There's two of them. And then there's these, which when I first saw them, I thought, are they claws? No, they're his mustache. And then these little things, which... I think are his buttons, I'm not sure, so there's two of them. So I have done all of that except his head, which I was waiting for the yarn to come. And these literally are taking me, oh, and then this is something, I think that's his nose. Um, these are literally taking not any time at all um, to make um, this particular thing anyway. When you get going on him, he's not really taking a long time. Uh, but I had to wait for the yarn for the head. So here is the yarn for the head. So that I shall be able to now also finish. So now I can finish the snowman, uh, the polar bear, I mean. I can finish the 
Tyka Bear. I can finish this bear. Eggman. And then, of course, because I couldn't do Eggman and I couldn't do Polar Bear and I couldn't do Tyka Bear because I'd ran out of yarn, I just dealt something else. Well, you just have to. So I'm making a monkey for Tristan. And this is the book it's in, which is a lovely book with some lovely, lovely things. And there's quite a bunch of them that I'm going to make. Of course, this is also the, oh yeah, this is the rattle that I was going to be making. Let me find that first to show you, <clears throat> which is waiting for the wings. Let me find that. So that is what I was waiting for. And he actually came over the other day and uh, we just opened our little bubble. So it's just the four of us and Tristan five. Um, and uh, they came over first time in, oh my gosh, since Christmas, I think. And uh, he's 10 months old now, Tristan. And uh, so I gave this to him to see if he'd like it. Well, we could hardly get it off him to leave. And of course I haven't finished it, so I couldn't give it to him because I have to put the wings on, which came today. And so now I can finish him. Oh my goodness, all these things I'm gonna get finished, it's ridiculous. So this is the monkey that I started for him. Now, don't you think this face is amazing? Because it's fabric. And in the book, it says you could use one of your child's old clothes that you can cut up that doesn't fit to use there as a memory. I thought that was really cool. I'm not doing that, though. Um, so I have got his head done other than the whole front, you know, stuff. This is his body. Look at the legs. <laughs> the legs. I only got one leg done. No, I haven't run out of yarn. And this is his arms. And his ears. So, so yeah, that's where I'm up to with that. So that is the little monkey for Tristan, my little monkey. So, that's all I've got going on, which is a million things I need to finish. But now I have the yarn while I'm on that subject. Here it is. Check it out. This is what I got today. So let's start off with this, which was the yarn I needed to finish the polar bear, his body. And then I ordered a pack of 10 and this is going to be again it's a cotton it's a DK and it's the pink box yarn so it doesn't have the same sheen as the Catania does but this is going to be to make some Easter bunnies for all the grandbabies and then I ordered a green as an extra because I thought, well, I might need that for something. Eventually I'd like to get nearly all the range of the colors because they really are sweet. And when you do use some of this for amigurumi, amigurumi um, certain colors you might need two or three of, but the other bits, sometimes you only need a half a little bit, half a, half a ball. And then I needed to get an Aran. And I was wondering the difference between the Aran cotton and these are the same color. But that's how thin this is, the DK. And here is how thick the Aran is, just a little bit thicker. You can see that difference. And I need that for a butterfly wing that I'm doing for a 
what is it? It's a, a bug rattle for my grandson. And then I bought some of this Cascade. I love Cascade yarn. Cascade Superwash 220, which is a, I think it's a DK weight yarn. Sport weight. Yeah, it's a light sport weight. And these are two different colors. And I got those. And I forget why. I think it was to do another knitted bear. I think. But I actually literally can't remember. And then I ordered some fingering weight in the Cascade 2020. And again, I don't remember why. I think this was to make the outfit, the pants for the knitted bear that I did in the Cascade White. The candy bear or the hiker, I should say. I think that was for that. But I really can't remember why I bought these. Maybe for socks? April socks, maybe? Or just more clothes for the bears? Maybe this was for green pants? I can't even remember. But that was my stash haul today. Love it! So, pretty good, right? That's a good haul. I thought so too. So I should also show you the fabric that I got. Oh, I bought this as well. I don't know if, not, I've never ne used a doll needle, but apparently it's supposed to be handy when you're putting the heads to the bottoms. <clears throat> so there's that. And uh, so anyway, the yarn, uh, the yarn <sighs> fabric that I bought, this I ordered online, never ordered fabric online before. But this I ordered online to make some more of these. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I have stitch markers like that and stitch markers like that and stitch markers like that that I'm going to be making ah, to go with this. Ah, I'm so excited. So yes, I am excited. My husband says, you're supposed to make these bags to sell them, you know. I said, I know. And he says, but you keep keeping them. <laughs> I know, <laughs> because they're so nice. Anyway, what do you think? I think this is gonna be great for that size little bag, which you can fit lots of stuff in. The other fabric that I picked up at my local um, yarn store, fabric store in Kempo, that I'd forgotten that we had, um, was this. And these were off cuts. And I thought that these would make, they'll make one bag, I think. I'm not sure I'll get two bags out of them. Um, but I thought this was lovely. And if I can get some more fabric like this in the store, because it was, you know, as you're on your way out the door, they have like these little cut quarter bits and off cuts, it was there. But I didn't really pay attention to see if it was actually on a roll or if this was the end of the roll. But I really, really liked this. So I want to make one of them for me. So there's that. Okay, last thing to tell you about. My dad sent me a parcel. My dad lives in England. He's 88 years old. He's had his COVID shot. My mom passed away six years ago, I think. And... Um, Yeah, <clears throat> she did a lot of crafting too. Um, she was left-handed though, um, so she didn't really knit ever. My grandmother who lived next door to us and taught me to knit, could not teach my mom to knit. So my mom didn't knit, but she did embroider. She liked embroidering and um, latch hook, rug hooking. I think that's what you call it. So my dad was sorting out more of her stuff. I nearly said junk then. We crafters know when nothing is junk, right? And um, he came across this box. So um, he sent it to me. Well, I should put it that way so you can see what it is. And it is a, um, a kit. I didn't realize it was a full kit. I just thought it was scraps of stuff she put in here, but no. 
look at that. It's a full kit with the hook thing. Now I did this myself years ago and I've totally forgotten how to do it. So I'm going to have to um, YouTube how to do this. And the pattern, there's no color picture of what it is, but it's dolphins. So it's called orcas, I think. Orcas, yeah. And um, it is a bath mat. So I thought I'd give that a go. And then I'd have it in my bathroom and it would always remind me of my mom. So I was really thrilled to get this. So I had this and all my yarn came today. And uh, I don't actually know what I want to finish first. Isn't that awful? So anyway, let me know what you think again about my bags. So should we call this Fletch or should we call it the Carson bag? And um, I do still like this one, but it's still not big enough. I might make a bigger version for to become the Fletcher. But I don't know if I like the whole one solid color. I love the way all my bags have the, the two colors and the two... Um, two different distinct fabrics. Do you know what I mean? I, I kind of like that. I find they pop. I think I might even make, I have enough to do two more of these. And um, I think I might make them the opposite way around and have the bag mostly blue, the blue waves, and have the the top and the handles in the, the yellow ducks. What do you think of that? Oh, there's so many things you can do with this stuff. I'm not kidding you. And the nice thing about this particular bag is it's a flattened bottom um, because it has, um, the insides are sewn together. I mean, look how much stuff I've got in this. It's, it's quite a big bag, but it's all, um, here, let me get everything out and show you. Tip it all out. It's really big and spacey and it doesn't, it's all stoned together, so. It's fun. I like it. I think it's one of my favorite bags so far. I loved the Netherwood for the longest time because I've been making that bag for a couple of years now. But, um, and then I, I thought I might like to get into um, the um, drawstring bags. This is one from Ellie of Craft House Magic. Um, and this is a really good bag and holds a lot too. But I don't know, I kind of really like the zipper tops and, you know, if you made that bigger, you could even take it to the beach. Anyway, I'm going, I've ruffled on too much. I'm trying to keep these videos down under half an hour and I am not managing. So I'll try and do one for you next week. So my, my, that might be smaller because I won't have as much to talk about. Yeah, I know that's not gonna happen either. Um, and hopefully I'll have a bunch of finished objects for you. Because it's, you know, it's all about the toys right now. Bye! Have a really, really great week. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, come and see me again next time. Bring a cup of tea. You're going to need it. Okay. Bye!